In this video, we're going to learn how to add a middleware to a Node.js API. The purpose of the middleware is to protect some routes and give access only to authenticated users. So let's get started. Hi guys, it's Kodrosum here and this is the part 9 of the series building a REST API with Node.js and MySQL. So make sure to subscribe and stay with the channel so you can follow the rest of the series. Alright, so, so far we have done implementing CRUD and request validation, authentication and so much more. So today we're going to add the middleware and protect some routes so that only the authenticated users can access those resources. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to create a new directory. Uh, I'm going to name that middleware so that I can include all my middleware here. Inside that, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name my middleware file check auth. So that name makes sense because I, we are checking if the user is authenticated. And here, I'm going to define my middleware function. Here, let's import JSON Web Token package. Just like this, and I'm gonna uh, create a new function. I'm gonna name that function check auth here as the parameters, just like we did in our controllers request and response. And we have to pass additional parameter call next. I will explain this parameter in a minute. Uh, now, here. I'm gonna add a try catch block here because uh, decoding a token can cause errors. So, in order to handle that errors, so we can use this try catch block so that we can handle that errors very easily. Just like this. Here, inside this try block, I'm gonna define a new constant. I'm going to name that constant token. Now we need to get the token sent by the user. For that, I'm going to use request.headers. And earlier we used request body for saving a product and updating a product. We use request body. But uh, normally we used request headers to send a token. All right. In the headers, we need to get the authorization header, just like this. An authorization header string will be something like bearer space, then the uh, token, just like this. So we need to extract only the token from this entire string. For that, I'm going to use this. A method called split like this and we need to split that string uh, by this space and we need to get the second half of the uh, split at string all right so this will be the token sent by the user now we need to decode this token um, for that, I'm going to create another constant. I'm going to name that decoded token. And for decoding the token, JSON Web Token package has a function called verify. And as the first argument of this function, we need to pass the token oops and as the second argument we need to pass the secret we used when creating the token in our user controller right here we use that we use a secret 
for generating the token so we need to use the same uh, secret here i'm not gonna just hard code it again instead i think now it's a good time to create an environment variable file um since we are using node mon we can do it easily um here i'm gonna create a new file in the root of the project called nodemon.json and here i'm gonna define a json array inside that array a new key called env and i'm gonna define another array for that and inside that i'm gonna define my another key which is jwt underscore key right now i can define the secret like this so i can use this key anywhere in my project all right now i can replace this hard-coded secret and instead i'm going to type process dot env dot then the variable name just like this and i can use the same value same value here as well now we have got the token decoded and now we need to append that data to the request let's say user data so that we can use uh, this value this decoded token anywhere in our controller so any other method that uses this request uh, parameter all right so after we append in this to the uh, request then we can call this third parameter we used next well what it does is it hands over the uh, execution to the next middleware available well since this is a middleware we execute the code we want and we pass the execution to the next available middleware or any other function and of course you can name these three parameters with anything you want it doesn't have to be the same names all right now uh, this code block is complete and let's just uh, complete this catch block really quick the error and if there is an error this code will be executed we need to return a response like this the status code um, should be like 401 because uh, it's unauthorized the message should be like um let's say invalid or expired token all right so that makes more sense and we can include the error as well the error returned by the uh, json web token package which is this all right our middleware function looks complete and we need to export that function module dot exports just like this all right now our middleware looks complete and then we need to include this middleware in our uh, appropriate routes I'm gonna open up the post route file here let's import our middleware I'm gonna define a new constant 
चेक ओत मिल गया Now I am going to use this middleware in certain routes, just like our save route. Only the authenticated users can save a post. So here, just like this. So this is the function name we used in our middleware. All right, now we need to use this middleware in our patch route and also in our delete routes as well because those routes needs to be protected as well because only an authenticated user should be able to delete or update the post all right so this looks complete and let me open up the terminal i'm going to start my application npm start looks like we don't have any errors nodebone started and let me open our api testing client now i'm going to open up our save post request and currently we have not included any token let's just send the request the same way we did before and it says invalid invalid or expired token which means our middleware works let me generate a token by logging in and hit this endpoint and generated the token for me i'm gonna copy this token and open up the save post request and here in this auth section i need to select bearer token option so here in this field called token i need to put my token all right now let's send this endpoint again now we have created our post successfully so which means our middleware works perfectly now let's test our other two endpoints as well update post um, let's send this endpoint without the token and we get the error message which means it works and let me include the token and then hit the request it works and for the delete post the same way and after including the token yeah the post deleted uh, successfully so we have successfully implemented a middleware to protect our routes you can use middleware for many purposes protect routes by checking the tokens or user levels or you can use middleware for to write activity logs and so much more so i hope you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button right here if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video